Welcome guys and girls to another speed build. I'm so terribly sorry it's been ages since I've ever done you know remotely anything on my channel. Um basically I don't really have a good excuse for it either. More than I've been I um you know a working citizen. Uh work takes up most of my time. I commute 3 hours a day. I'm exhausted when I get back home and I've got other priorities sort of as well. Uh, like, you know, shopping for food, uh, which is the basic of my survival. Um, either way, this is, um, I know I haven't really done the Let's Play either, so, but, you know, let's take that for another time. I will try to get back into it. I uh, just haven't really had the time. Uh, so, either way, uh, it took me ages to actually even figure out what I wanted to do. I want to do a speed build because it's fun and it's I haven't built a house as much and um, so I decided to do, to make a house I call the traditional and the tra why is because it's, I tried to make sort of a more Swedish Scandinavian style basically a very realistic thing because all, even though I like really like you know um, the crazy builds that you, you know you just let your magic fly by um i also like the the more classical style that's actually more similar to uh what i'm used to so these sort of houses um it's more like i pick picked parts of uh different styles i found and actually just you know took the best features of it um so you will see the entryway is more like a wooden uh, covered porch of some kind, which is actually quite common uh, where I live. Um, uh, which it just you know it's like a storage area before you actually get to the main hall. Also, the back of the house got a little lovely deck area, which is also very common. Uh, I see very often. Uh, people over here they extend the backyard you know having a very fancy deck with you know just with no roof at all just a deck so they can't really use it when it's raining but that's not the point because they are going to have a deck because it's that's what it's supposed to be <laughs> yeah I don't really I've I'm more used to I grew up with um what's it called like a sunroom? No, no, not but not really. Uh, conservatory, I think it's called. Uh, so that's what I'm used to. Uh, but it's a bit, bit bits and pieces. Uh, you know that wooden porch at the front is something I'm you got from my uh, my grandparents' house, their farm, uh, which I visited quite a lot when I was a kid. Um, so either way yeah but the inside is not very traditional i tried to make the kitchen more swedish style sort of but quite modern it's quite modern basically uh and but the outside is very traditional but the inside is more like the typical th theme you go for when you uh see oh yeah just First of all, this is a problem I experience because whenever I try to build a room, the whole base floor just disappeared and I don't know why. So I actually ended up adding the rooms to the layout because the thing is I didn't have this problem on the second floor and only this first floor and which is really crazy and I tried to find a solution. So. Um, and I just ended up, you see this is another part, uh, so I just ended up doing without recording anything and just put up the layout of the room and then just kept recording which you can see here. Um, either way, I totally forgot now what I was saying before, but either way, here I'm moving the house. Um, yeah, uh, so what I've been doing lately, and you know I've been working, I've been also running like a maniac I believe it or not I actually a few days ago I willingly admitted me to a race a 10k race which is so insane I don't really know why I'm doing it 
Uh, no, but I like running. I like running. Oh, okay. This is where I accidentally pressed the button I wasn't supposed to press. So, either way. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> that's what I've also been doing. It's taking up a few bit of my time as well. But, you know, I have to practice. Make sure I can actually compete all the 10k. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, and what else have I been doing? I... Not much really, but I just don't don't know why I didn't do the the let's play. I think, uh, yeah, it was after I got home from England. It just you know you have to get back into your routines and everything, and there was so much things happening. And right now it's crazy, a lot of things happening at work, um, which is taking up quite a lot of my brain capacity in general so I don't really have the energy of thinking of YouTube at the moment. I'm hardly a YouTuber anymore I actually don't really watch any other YouTubers um, so yeah um, if I do anything with the videos I watched borrow my boyfriend's Netflix shh he sort of doesn't know well he does but he doesn't need to um, either way so um well yeah <laughs> okay y either way the interior <clears throat> um it's a bit scandinavian inspired a uh, bit norwegian that table I, th I would say is pretty scandinavian s style thing there's tulips everywhere because it's spring um so we got a few tulips growing in our gardens around um, those sofas are quite also typical. It's, it's there's not really much to choose when it comes, to, you know, in Sims Four yet. Yeah, but those sofas were the closest I could get, you know, to the typical kind of style. Like basically, every home here is, you know, IKEA style. Um, my home is actually IKEA style. Like everything. I think I'm in my living room right now. I think the only thing that's not from IKEA is my desk. But everything else is from IKEA, except for the TV. But yeah, so um, yeah, a little bit of corner. I put shelves as also above that sofa with a bit of trophies, you know. Uh, this is the kitchen, and I usually I got the kitchen island going on, and you got this really big fancy kitchen. But I felt like you know I want to do realistic and. Actually, never really seen a normal kitchen that size. Usually, it's just you know either just one line or it's L-shaped kitchen and with a breakfast table in the middle of it all. So it's very simple. This is more like a bit more. It's quite traditional still, but it's a bit more fancy. Um, so yeah, and I did not put a carpet uh, in in the kitchen because my first of all it's. So so it's not really the best to have a carpet in the kitchen because that's that's the one place you actually get the most messes, especially on the floor. You know, you just spill things, it gets sticky, and you know having a carpet there, you might just have to wash it. It's, oh, it's such a bad idea. I don't even have carpet in my own kitchen because oh, it's, that floor is always crumbles everywhere. I, I need to vacuum as well. <laughs> That's also <laughs> a thing I need to do. Uh, back to the house. So there, I, you know, tried to be a bit realistic. Um, I actually miss the car. So I want a garage, a garage, or how you knew, how you pronounce it. But <sighs> they don't really have cars. You don't really need a car in Sims Four is either. Uh, so that's the computer area. So, so yeah, the office area. There's no more. I don't didn't really built in an office, um, and upstairs I think there is uh, an ensuite to the master bedroom. Yes, there is, if I remember correctly, uh, which is not really Scandinavian because um, personally, as I think I've told you before, I've never s seen a house with an ensuite in it. Um, so. 
Uh, so this, either way, there's two bedrooms, there's two double beds, so there's no, like, child or teenage, but you can easily convert one of the bedrooms, you know, to a child or teenage bedroom or office or gym or whatever you want it to be. Um, there's two bathrooms as well, there's um, the main bathroom in that little corner for everyone in the house to use um, and guests, and there's also uh, the ensuite bathroom, which, which is quite big. Um, yeah, and so in that room upstairs, it's going to be the TV room, because I realised, uh, I was actually supposed to have that as a bedroom, but I realised I did not put a TV or even make a place for a TV downstairs, so I felt like, okay, so let's make a TV room, because that's pretty Scandinavian, if you're rich and have loads of money, but that's not the point, uh, <laughs> you, you, you have, you have to have a formal room, sitting room and form like family room <coughs> excuse me um so that's how it's done i don't know why the sofa is yellow oh, I th oh okay oh there's a tv in the master bedroom as well oh did not know that i also put in a quite a cool thing i think into the from the tv room to the um master bedroom is Cool, so useless. It's it's. Uh, I put in one of those um, hidden doors, like you know the bookshelf thing, uh, which you will see. Not really now, but it will you know pop up uh, soon enough. Um, it's so useless. You, you you don't really need it, but I thought I found it a cool effect, and uh, that's also one of my main goals in a house build. I want to do. I want to uh, do a hidden room which I think actually every house should contain uh, but I wish my apartment had a hidden room but it's too simply too small I can convert one of the cupboards to it but it's not really the same yeah so uh, oh yeah I thought this was the ensuite for actually for a second no, but no this is, the, this is the main bathroom which is very small very cluttered as well uh, it's not easy decorating bathrooms, I think. Um, but I think I got it quite right. It looks okay. Um, it's quite fancy. This is some trick I saw in a ha house somewhere with the shelf and the bathrobes. Um, uh, yes, and so I actually ha I have to say. When, the, when it comes to the sofas in The Sims 4, either they're too luxurious or they're too rubbish. So there's like no comfy sofa in between. It's just either it's too bad or it's too good. There's nothing in between. Speaking of in between, you know, Swedish lesson number 37,000. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've got a word for what's just right, uh, which is called lagom. When it's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right. This is where I put on the hidden door and I had to move the uh, desk as well. But I was, you know, looks very weird because then I put one of those bookshelves in, you know, at the side. So it doesn't quite look, it fit in, but it works. So, uh, it's like the giant TV. I think that you actually you need to unlock it, but... If you download it, it should probably be there, but it's one of those unlockable items you can get. And also one of those unlockable bath tubs. I don't know, but I want one of those bath tubs. They're so big and so luxurious. And uh, there's two sinks, you know. Oh, no! Hey! No, wait, wait, wait. No, that's actually the main bathroom. Okay, so there's no ensuite. I, d I can't really remember what I did. Uh, this room is actually a bit strange since there's like a blue pattern going on, but then I got that red wall in the middle of the wall. And you see, yeah, red and blue. It's just so weird color schemes going on. But I don't know. Somehow I thought, oh, this looks pretty cool. And now I'm not so sure. But, well, you know, either way. 
there's okay so there's no en suite it's just that the master bedroom got a secret door to the tv room which is ugh. but well um so yeah so there's no you got an ensuite is that a little one oh okay my bad there is an ensuite i forgot i completely don't know the layout of this uh sorry i'm terribly sorry um so i think the furnishing is about done um this is my just the garden left um a bit of barbecue area because that's what you do when you got a deck um and i'm waiting I'm waiting there's a few more minutes left on the video so i can just you know how you all been doing this past few weeks it's turning starting to get summer here it's um 20th of may it's getting hot it's been it's, uh, it's like in Sweden, when it's turning from winter to summer, it's the the weather get gets very wodgy, sort of like it's you know it's either it can get very hot or it can get very cold. There's like no in between. Um, uh, yeah, so hmm. Uh, but it's, it's been very hot today. It's a bit windy. I hope there's no storm coming on. I don't like storms. I like it, but it's so messy afterwards. Um, so the the garden here is you know, back to the house built. It's quite simple. Um, there's no really you know fence connected that's combining everything. It's just there's that little path uh, you can go back, but there's no pool. There's no swing not that the game has swings i was actually you know thinking of covering it all with you know fences here but it just felt like no it doesn't really felt right so i'm just covering it a bit of the front and then i take these hedges and put it around at the back so it's, it feels a bit concealed that you know they got their own garden but it's not concealed and i like this idea because uh here when you uh, separate the houses uh you often have hedges um it's, um it's rarely you have fences maybe at the front but not at the back uh so this is the first picture this is one of them you know i don't really know how many pictures i took but i took plenty for you to enjoy there's not a three-story house it's just a two-story that top window is actually fooling you there's a lot of, why is there lots of the front that's stupid that's the one of the back <laughs> lots of trees um which I actually fancy because there should be lots of trees quite a problem when it comes to autumn you know all the trees are falling uh, this is like the front uh, you know the f little room where you enter uh, quite simple this is a hallway you see the staircase going upstairs you see the kitchen to the left and the easel in the middle of the wall <laughs> um, quite modern I like this house it's a dude but it's, a it's quite special size there's no certain style to it it's like i don't really know i don't think i have a certain style when it comes to interior um i've got my own style and there's a pig on the fireplace oh, i like my piggies um this is backyard all of a sudden and this is upstairs also a fireplace a more old-fashioned one uh quite oddly placed this is a part of the master suite um well that's a hidden door which doesn't match at all but that's no bother um bit of the hope they can access the bed from both sides uh i did not p t test play the house this is the ensuite i thought this was the main bathroom but this is the ensuite and uh, this is the tv room and you think you're going to see uh, that's the secret door right there as well. This, ah, I wouldn't, you know, playing video games on that TV would be marvellous. So I hope you enjoy this video and, you know, comment, like, whatever you want to do. Uh, the house is already up in the gallery for you to download it. I will link to the description below. And I hope you see you next time. Bye!